One example of the power of uh, the, obtaining the autonomic history is the coat hanger phenomenon. Uh, in people who have neurogenic orthostatic hypotension or orthostatic intolerance, they can complain of a pain or like a Charlie horse kind of uh, sensation in the back of the neck and shoulder areas in the distribution that's like a coat hanger. Uh, and, uh, and it goes away when the person is lying down. That's an important symptom. And the way I explain it is that the muscles that control your head are tonically active. You're, otherwise, your head would be falling down all the time. Tonically active. That means they're using up uh, oxygenated uh, blood all the time. Well, suppose you're in a, critically, uh, a critical situation where there's a drop in blood flow, the delivery of oxygenated blood to the head. In that situation, these, these muscles are not getting uh, enough uh, oxygenated blood. They're, they're conically active, so they're producing lactic acid and you get a charley horse, just like you would get, just like, like you'd have a cramp uh, uh, anywhere else. It's a skeletal muscle thing. So I think when, when somebody complains of coat hanger phenomenon, that's a very important sign uh, or, or, or symptom, and, and that is not invented. Uh, that's, that's a real phenomenon. It, it points to uh, ischemia, uh, ischemia of the, uh, to the, uh, skeletal muscle holding your head up. Another example of the importance of the autonomic his history is what I call pretzel legs phenomenon. This is a strong sign of orthostatic intolerance or orthostatic hypotension. When you see somebody uh, with that kind of a posture as you walk in the room, you think, well, I don't know what this person has, but whatever it is, there's, it's real. The person is uh, trying to use uh, muscle pumping to get blood up towards the chest. 